Hey guys, it's Rain. Welcome to this baking video. Today we're going to be making some vintage rose cupcakes. And for that, I'm going to be working over a piece of wax paper and I'm working with the smoothest part on top. Then I'm using some pink real icing. I'm working with my tipless piping bags that I use all the time. I have a review on them. This is going to be the base of the rose. I'm going to be taking my stripe tool. I have a DIY, super handy to have, but you can use a toothpick as well if you don't want to. It's easier this one because you can just wash it after you're done and use it again but anyways i'm just going to do this shape and then i'm going to be taking a lighter real icing it's the same pink that i used on the base but this one has like one drop and i'm going to be doing the shape of the flower like so and don't worry if you're a bit too shaky because that actually helps to the uh, shape of the flower and then i'm just going to keep on making a few of them a few tips that i have for you don't make them too thin because they tend to break and make more than what you actually think you need in case some of them break once I have done that and it's beginning to crust, I'm just going to be taking some green royal icing. This one has a few drops of it and it's a mint green. I'm going to be adding like half a leaf working with my scrap tool and then I'm just going to let it crust. I'm not going to add the whole thing at once because I want it to have some sort of texture and you're going to see what I mean in a second. Once that's crusted, I'm just going to go and complete my leaf. This is going to add some dimension to the whole leaf. So I'm just going to complete what I just did in all of my roses and I decided to add two two leaves per flower but in some of them I added three leaves let them dry for 24 hours or overnight and once that's happened peel them off from the wax paper and that's why it's really important to work over the like smoothest part of the wax paper because they should come right off like this for the frosting i'm going to be using green gel food coloring and i'm just going to add that much and i'm just going to mix the whole thing just to make this really minty light green as far as for the cupcake goes i'm using my vanilla recipe love it use it all the time i do have the recipe using my wilton 1M and once I complete my rosette I'm just going to add the topper which is my rose and that is pretty much how you cover that part. Then I'm going to finish this by adding some white sprinkles and that is it for these cupcakes. They taste really yummy, they look good. So if you like this don't forget to give me a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I do have a baking playlist if you want to check it out. Don't forget to share this so more people can watch. So thank you so much for watching, I'll talk to you on Tuesday and take care. Bye guys!